Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about CNN ratings. We've been following CNN because David Zaslav came in, bought Warner Brothers, took a look at CNN and said, hey, yeah, you guys are way too far left. Let's rein that in a little bit. Fired a bunch of people, started a new morning show, and it's not working out. Mm -mm. Uh, it's not That's working. That's because out. everybody knows CNN is the go-to for far, far left news. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder. A certain person with with tiny hands and bad hair uh, is back on Facebook now, and I have to wonder if the reason that person is back on Facebook is to fuel the fire so outlets like CNN can make fun. Well, of we them. joke like when the election happened, we said if Trump doesn't win, that they're going to turn around and be like, we have nothing to talk about. You yeah. guys were all celebrating the win, but now you're gonna have nothing because everything you did, video game review, somehow it's Trump's fault and his golden throne of something. Every oh, time, what? remember the one review? Whatever, oh God, yeah, was anytime, that the PlayStation? Anytime yeah. there's, anytime there was a review or anything, it's kind of like the whole J.K. Rowling thing right now, where anytime anybody would do something about, you know, we have to submit about J.K. Rowling in there too. It was like that, but everything, everything that the, the word touched had to involve Trump. And then it, that was gone. It was gone, yeah. It's like you guys you guys hated him, but you needed him. But you hated him, but you needed the bad guy. Everybody needs a villain, right? Uh, so now the villain is you. The villain's not, everybody. Like they're, 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 Now the villain's the general public. Now the villain is the general public. So, I mean, they've been kind of you know grasping at straws, trying to find things to get outraged about. But yeah, I mean, this is a mandate from David Zaslav and uh, Chris, Chris Light. I think it's Light, not Light. I was calling him Chris Licked, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, I, I think he's uh, realizing now that you can't pivot CNN back to center once you've gone so far left, and that is your audience, and it's just not working out. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about this worst ratings in nine years. In nine years. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over two hundred ninety thousand subs. Yay! Ah, uh, yay! A little more enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah. That's about as enthusiastic as the morning show host. My on brain CNN. froze for a minute and I was like, wait, am I supposed to say hello again or yay? <laughs> My brain froze. It took a second. Uh, so we're, we're going to, yeah, well, I think, I think um, a lot of people's brains are freezing over there because this is not working out very well. I understand and I respect what they're trying to do. But the problem is, is that you have made your brand outrage for so long that you would almost have to like ditch the CNN name and start. And over. let's be honest here. When you get a, when, when viewers get addicted to a certain type of outrage, whatever flavor that outrage may be, yeah. um, they expect you to keep that outrage train going. And if they're not getting their outrage hit, dopamine hit from you, they're going to go to another network and get the like MSNBC and get their outrage hit of dopamine from them. And a lot of times what happens is, and we've seen this, this is, this is what kind of happened on, on the right too, is, if if you know Fox News isn't doing it for you anymore, then you're going to move on to the the next thing, the, the more extreme thing. The same with the left, you know. If it's not if CNN's too uh, milk toast for you, you're going to move over to MSNBC. You're going to go watch the Young Turks. You're going to go watch right. You know, and the thing is, we like we just want it to go back to center, and we just want news to be news and not news to be opinion masquerading as news. But I don't. And I think I said this in previous videos. I don't know if that can happen now because I think everybody is so polarized. I think news has become another form of entertainment. Like it, is. it used to be, you know, the news was the news and it was whatever it was. I mean, let's be honest. The news hasn't been completely honest for years because knowledge is power. And it's easy to control the masses when you control the, the media. But, you know, it was like you watched the news to find out what was going on in the world. Um, the propaganda and all. But now it's like you watch the news to get a, a rise out of yourself for entertainment. Like, I'm feeling bored today. Let me go watch a, a CNN to find out what I can get pissed about so I feel like I'm alive. You know what? It's funny you mention that. I, I mentioned this yesterday on, on Twitter that there are people that, I swear to God, the reason they troll you is they want to feel like they're alive. Like they don't. Oh, I didn't even know you said that. I did, yeah. Because they were, they were coming after uh, one of our reporters because he had an interview with the community manager at Limited Oh, Rangers. I didn't see they were bothering him. And they were they were going after him and going after the post or whatever. And these are like random people. I've never seen these people. The typical, you know. All they did was interview her. That's yeah, it. Yeah, typical, generic. Well, a lot of people were interviewing her. She said she was available for interviews. But but anybody that interviewed her, they would go around and, and brigade. And it's like they're trying to get a rise out of you because they don't have anything else going on in their own lives. And it's a... It's a weird uh, parasitic relationship, and they, they basically want you to pay attention to them 
so they know they're important. And I said that the thing you do is you starve them of what they want the most. They want attention. Oh, I think I did see that. Yes. Yeah, you don't give it to them. You treat them as badly as they think the rest of the world treats them. Well, you ignore them. They're just doing it because they think that that's their whole that's their whole identity is I'm a culture warrior. And it's like their whole identity is I'm going to go and I'm standing up for what's right because I'm a good person. But a lot of times they're just going by narrative, not necessarily truth. And truth and narrative are not always the same thing. Sometimes, you know, truth is truth and sometimes it's not. Uh, yeah. And then you find out who these people are and you're like. You don't have a job. You spend all day on the internet. You don't have a job, you know. But but it's funny you said about you know people wanting confirmation bias to feel like they're actually alive. And it seems well, they like want them to be angry about because like you know when you're angry or when you have some extreme emotion, you you feel more alive than when it's just like you're droning on your daily boring lives and you're bored and you're and like work sucks or things in your life aren't where you want it to be or you're living at your mom's house or whatever and you're upset. And, you know, that way you have you feel like you feel something. Yeah, it's like I'm mad at the world. It, ha it can't be my fault. It can't be poor choices I've made. It has to be the world's fault. Somehow it's the world's fault. So mm -hmm. I'm going to get mad. I'm going to join. And I'm going to fix it. I'm going to I'm going to fix it from the, streaming at people on Twitter. from the safety of my keyboard. I'm going to fix all the world's problems. Anyway, let's talk about CNN. These are big problems for CNN. Uh, Zazlab might fix it permanently, like neuter it, like uh Get rid of it. There, there are rumors that he was talking about maybe selling it off. Hey, to... let's say spay because let's be fair. Okay. CNN suffered its worst ratings week in nine years. Upcoming programming changes likely to make matters worse. Boy, the hits keep on coming for CNN's semi-new CEO, Chris Licht. Liked. Licked like. Maybe he likes to lick. I don't know. Most probably uh, like lichen. Like, like. Yeah, we don't mean the network's lineup. CNN just noticed its lowest ratings in nine years across it's uh, all its day parts for the week of January 16th through the 22nd. According to Nielsen's averaging just 444,000 viewers in prime time, 93,000 in the all important age 25 to 54 news demographic. So these are people that watch the news and 417,000 in viewers and uh, 80,000 in the demo for a total day. It's the first time since May 2014 that the network failed to reach 450,000 viewers. It's not as bad as G4 TV. <laughs> But it's not good. And again, you try to suck that hard. You know, your audience, the audience you've cultivated, they were all about the Trump outrage for how many years and it's ended. And now you're trying to be a kinder, gentler CNN and well, they here, don't want it. This tells you everything that you want to know. Yeah. And unfortunately, this is the wrong takeaway because what's going to happen is we're going to get more um, extreme news on yes. your side, yes. and not an actual you know, fair reporting on news source, which is a, it, it, we need a fair news source. By comparison, during the same period, Fox drew nearly 1.4 million viewers and 176,000 in the demo, while MSNBC notched 629,000 total views and 69,000 in the demo. In prime time, Fox News had 2 million viewers, 256,000 in the demo, and MSNBC had 943,000 um, with 91,000 in the demo, which is one, Fox News is kicking everybody's ass. I want to point that out according yeah. to the numbers. So this is, this is really interesting. But two, MSNBC is taking CNN's lunch. They are because they're leaning into the anti-right outrage that CNN used to, you know, and if Fox News decided they were going to be middle of the road, Here's the thing. you know, they, they would, the same thing would happen. This whole thing where like, you know, everybody's outraged all the time and fighting each other and everybody's divided and, you know, and uh, things that are divided can't stand, but everybody's divided all the time. You know, it's not going to change because the numbers are indicating everybody wants to stay mad at each other. So because they want to stay mad at each other, it doesn't matter how many people go to the center. They're not going to watch it. They want they want that dopamine hit of outrage. Yeah, they do. They want to know that they're right. It's confirmation bias. It's not actually news. Uh, some especially troublesome news out of this week's Nielsen numbers is that uh, likes primary programming move CNN this morning uh, also suffered the lowest week since its launch and it, it debuted terribly. The mm -hmm. the morning show was terrible. Average three hundred thirty one thousand viewers. Well, Fox and Friends had uh, a million and Morning Joe on MSNBC had seven hundred sixty thousand. But it's funny to me, Fox is still kicking everybody's ass. Yeah. Um, so they said uh, last week, the EP Eric Hall was being reassigned to CNN Tonight, hosted by Laura Coates, signaling that uh, light is where the show needs to perform better. That'd be the morning show. Uh, insiders told the rap that even the hosts, uh, Don Lemon, Poppy Harlow. Is that a real name? I don't know. I have wondered that. For, like, does somebody actually? Um, awesome. And Collins seemed to be growing frustrated over the direction. Should, that's okay. Zazlav will just fire you all and be like, yep, yeah, we're done. 
Uh, the show can't decide strategically what it is, so it's trying to be everything which can create whiplash for a viewer when segments seem off-brand in tonality. Which is what we're to say. They're yeah. used to it being extreme left. Yep. The audience for morning news on network TV is different than the cable news audience, and since we're not gaining new viewers, we definitely need to retain our legacy ones. Basically, morning news on cable is your daily dose of confirmation bias, whereas if you're watching, like, um, you know, it's very different than, like, what is it? Kelly Ripa and was Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, now, Kelly, there. Yeah, I can't keep track of who's on. I was yeah, gonna say, but that's more like a fun show. Where they talk about news, but it's mostly fun. Right. And I think that you know, I don't know. So basically, if you go to Center, it's people don't get people don't get their dopamine hit, and they don't find it very entertaining. Yeah, CNN did not did not respond to a request for comment. Insiders we spoke to fear that things are unlikely to get better. Uh, upcoming programming changes are likely to make matters worse. Well, I'm concerned about is. This is just showing the networks there's no incentive to go back to just doing your job and telling the news and trying to be, you know, unbiased because everybody wants their daily dose of confirmation bias. Everybody here's look, this is the truth. Everybody says they want to be, you know, they want their news to be unbiased. What they mean by that is they want their talking heads to agree with them. Mm -hmm. That that's what I've learned. Um, I mean, that's the truth. That's the truth. Whether it's this or YouTube or whatever. Yeah, we've want, often gotten you know, oh, somehow we were alt right and far left snowflakes for in the same day. Yeah, and I'm like, well, you can you can watch Newsmax if you want to. You can watch the Young Turks if you want to. You're more than welcome to. Uh, we try to keep everything focused on pop culture and media, and people keep wanting to push us into more political topics. And I don't want to go there. You know, I'm sure I mean, we grow faster. We grow a hell of a lot faster if, if we, we did. You know, try to throw there like you clickbait everything. It's like, oh, we don't clickbait anything near near other people, and it's like we no. could. But we don't because we actually sincerely just want things to go back to center and we don't want people fighting each other all the damn time. We want Disney to fucking do better because they're a shit show now. And we want the, you know, we want Hollywood to do better. And even though it's Hollywood, so they won't, you know, we just yeah. want things to be better. And we want people to stop, you know, hating others just because they politically differ from them. Because we grew up at a time where you were allowed to have an opinion. And that was cool. You could still be friends with somebody, even if you had difference of opinion. Um, this whole idea that if someone disagrees with you, you have to smite them from the earth, call their employer, get them fired from a job and everything else because they don't agree with you is absolutely ridiculous. And hey. that is how how engaged these people are in these narratives. Yeah, I wonder if a lot of if the normal people, if the normies just tune out from the news completely because it's depressing and it's biased. Just on both sides of it. They're just like, I don't watch news because it's depressing. Yeah, because those numbers are actually kind of low. I mean, given the amount of people in the world, they yeah. aren't watching it. Yeah, so I don't know, guys, but there it is. CNN, I don't think um, I don't think this is working as well. I mean, it was interesting when they said that they were going to do that to try to roll back to what CNN used to be back in the 80s, 90s. But again, the audience has changed. The audience has changed, mm -hmm. and, and I don't think it's going to work very well. No, you're you're, you guys are known as being one of the far left outlets. Yeah. Yeah, going back to center, when they expect far left outrage, it's your own doing. Yeah. So, all right, we're going to wrap this one yes. up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.